Hello everyone and welcome to Chapter 7. My name is Dr. Tador Richardson and I will be guiding you through some vital steps in creating a multimedia website. In this video, you will learn how to create a page in Perl for your website. Perl is a server-side language. This means it executes on the server prior to the viewer seeing the page. This effectively hides the source code from the viewer. Perl must be installed on the server for it to be used. Once it is installed on the server, it can be used to create a page. The page must be saved with the .pl extension for the server to recognize the code and process it. Perl code cannot be added within an HTML page. It must be used to create an entire file. The first line of a Perl file should be the path to the Perl binary file on the server. The example shown represents only the most common path. You will need to verify this on your server to make sure your code will work. The command to output text to the browser is print. The text that is to be printed should be treated as a string. All lines of Perl code need to end with a semicolon. Variables in Perl can be declared with a dollar sign regardless of the content they will contain. In the example shown, the variable contains the message that was printed by the print command in the previous example. The variable can be called by using its name. The result of this example is the same as the previous example that used only the print command. Unlike PHP, Perl must print all of the HTML content of the page. This includes all of the HTML page setup information and any content you wish to include. You should test your Perl pages routinely to make sure all of your tags are present and closed properly. Enjoy! If you like this video and want to learn more, you can buy my book Multimedia Web Design and Development, available from Mercury Learning and Information, also available at Amazon.com.